and hope you're well. Hello and welcome. My name's Gaynor Fitfish and I'm going to be talking about the one thing that makes meal planning so much easier. I don't know how you feel about meal planning, whether you like to just wing it, whether you don't want to plan because you'll feel restricted, whether you prefer shopping every day, whether you like shopping once a month, whether you do plan meticulously and when you don't, you feel all out of sorts. How is it for you? Do you meal plan or don't you meal plan? Well, there's loads and loads of benefits to meal planning. You save money you save time, uh, there's less waste, and it can be healthier because you can make sure that your meals are well balanced throughout the week and that you're getting a wide range of fruit and vegetables in and covering the whole rainbow so that you get all the vitamins and minerals that you need. Less waste because you don't end up with those bendy carrots or leeks at the bottom of the fridge that you haven't used. Uh, it's cheaper because you just buy what you need rather than thinking, oh, but I might need that. I might need that. It's less stressful as well because you plan once a week or once every couple of weeks. And then that's that's the decisions done. That's the stressful stuff done. Then every day, every morning, you just know what you're doing. You don't have to think about it all over again and think, oh, what are we having for dinner this evening? Uh, why don't we plan? Well, there's lots of reasons why we don't plan, but in the main, I find it's because people don't have enough time. They see it as too complicated and they feel that they're just not organised enough in life in general to be planning to this level of detail. But I want to help you. I want to give you a tip that can make it a lot, lot easier. I want to reduce the barrier to you meal planning. So when we've got this whole world of recipes that we could choose from, whole world of ideas of different meals to choose from, that's actually what makes us freeze sometimes and think, oh, I don't know what to cook. So if we could reduce that choice down a little bit, <coughs> reduce the barrier so that it's easier for us to start meal planning, that would be good, wouldn't it? So one way that we can do this is every night of the week have a different theme. So that instead of choosing from hundreds of recipes, you are just choosing from two, three, four of your favorites. So it takes the brain power out, it takes, makes the decision process a lot easier and therefore a lot less stressful. So you could have something like snow, slow cooker night, curry night, Italian night, jacket potato night, freezer meal night, leftovers night, uh, wrap night, uh, fish night, chicken night. How does that work for you? How does that fit into your lifestyle? Perhaps you have a night where you come in, you're in for half an hour, you need to eat and you go out again. But actually you've got a little bit of time that morning or the night before. Have you got days where you've got a long time to prepare dinner? Have you got days where actually you're in really late and you need something to be ready to grab. So have a look at your week, think about your week and think what themes would work best for which nights. And then you can write yourself a list. You can have Monday, Italian night and write yourself two or three meal ideas. Tuesday, fish night, again, two or three meal ideas. Wednesday, curry night, two or three meal ideas. And that's then all you need. So that will give you an array of 20, 30, 40 different recipes but your decision making process each week is a lot easier because you've already made these bigger decisions about what theme you're going to have each night. So I hope that's helpful. I'd love to hear if you do that already or whether that could be something you incorporate into your meal planning so that you don't have to just be thinking all the time about choosing from a wide range of meals. So so currently we have things like uh, slow cooker night, pasta night, chicken night, fish night, and kind of new recipe night. So which themes could work for you? And what could make it simpler and just less stressful to start planning? I hope that was helpful. Let me know, let me know whether you plan or not, or whether themes might be helpful for you and what kind of themes would you have? Okay, if 
Until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.